Time for us to make a list. Now, if you remember, arrays are used to store a list of items in a single variable, and there are multiple ways that we can achieve this. First, let's look at how we can do this using the array function. So let me create my variable and call it task list and set it to an array. So let's add some tasks. So let's do get groceries, um, get, get an oil change. pick up kids from school. The second way we can declare an array is by using square brackets. So let's now flesh out our grocery list and set it equal to a few items. So let's add oranges. milk and eggs so these are two ways in which we can define our arrays and if we want to print the values at certain positions we can do so by specifying the position or index that we want to print so first let us print and let me create a new line here so for our task list, we will print at what is at position zero. And for our grocery list, let us print what is at position one. Let us save this. Now let's run our arrays.php file and we have get groceries and we have milk here all right and let us see here my new line did not work so let us use a break instead let's save that and refresh All right, let's save that and test it now. All right, let's save this and test it now. Let's do a refresh, click on our file, and now we get our new line. Right, so this is how we would simply create an array syntax um, using PHP. Secondly, let's look at how we could actually add um, values to these arrays. So first, let me use the function and we have one available to us called array push and this allows us to push one or more elements onto the end of an array. So let us do this with our task list. And let us add one more task. So let us say, all right, let us let's stop and pick up some flowers. So let us now save this. And if we echo position three and save it we see here now that we get that new value that we just added to our array in addition to this you can use a function called onset and let us unset a value in our grocery list so currently we have 0, 1, 2, we have three values. So it's onset and this onset's a given variable. So let us onset what is 
in our grocery list at position one and by doing this it th it should throw an error since we're trying to echo what is actually at position one so let us save this and run it right so now we get undefined array key one since we have now used that variable so let us print what is at position two save this refresh and now we get our eggs so that is how you can use the array push and unset functions which are built in um, in order to modify our arrays if we wanted to print out all the values in our task list we could achieve this by using a simple for loop so first let me get the length of our task list array. So let us say task list array length equals the count of my task list. And just to check what this value is, let me remove this for now. Let me print what is in that variable. So my task list array length. Let's save this and run it. And I should get three. All right, so zero, one, two, and three. Actually, it's one, two, three because this array push comes after so if i was to actually cut this and put it after we add a new variable and save this it should now tell us we have four values in our array right so to print what is in our array let us do a for loop and let us set our counter equal to zero and while our counter x is less than our task list array length which is four we want to increment x so x plus plus and inside here we would want to say echo task list and inside the square brackets, we would actually put our iterator, iterator, which is our counter variable here. So let's put X inside. And then let's echo a break after each value. And remember, put our double quotes. So let us save this and run it. So now we are looping through and getting each value at each position in our task list array. Next, let's look at how we define associative arrays. Let's store a list of persons and their age. All right, so let me clean this up just a little bit. All right, so let's come down here. And first, let us define our associative array. So let's say associate person array. And let this be equal to, and let's say Mariah. And in this case we use our fat arrow syntax or simply an equal sign followed by a greater than sign and this specifies our association so let us do persons by their age so let's do a couple more And 
let's put her at 27. So here we have an associative array where we have defined what our index will be followed by the value. In the previous examples, we simply just set the value and our index was automatically um, assigned starting from zero. Here, we are manually putting in our index. So if we do this, we've already done a for loop. So let's now do a for each loop. So let me comment this out. Let's do a for each loop to print our person associative array. So let's say for each. And we want to be printing the age. So let's say age as x. And this is the syntax for for each. Let's use our fat arrow syntax. And then let's just say the x value. So here we're going to echo our key. Sorry, key. And we're just going to concat our values. And let's say value equals And then let's echo a break. So this is going to do a for each loop and it is checking and seeing, setting X equal to age and then also the associated value for X. So let us save this and run it. And we have an error. Okay, so let me comment this out. Uh, which line is it? Uh, line 16. All right, let's comment out our array push. We have another error. All right, let's check for that one. All right, so what I'll do is comment the rest of these out as I go along. So let's comment this out as well and save it. And now we have an unexpected token for each. And let's see what's wrong with that. For each. Okay. So the error started up here. Okay. So classic error forgot the semicolon at the end so that was what must have been causing the other errors as well I'm sorry about that so let us refresh this all right so now we have one at line 27 unexpected double quoted string all right so let's fix this up ah so this is why i speak about consistency I started off with single quotes and then finished with double quotes, so that's no good. So one more time, save this, and we're still getting an error. Double quoted string. So let us look at this string. So open, closing the code, we're concatting the X. And then, oh, we're missing a concat right here. So opening the string, closing it, then concatting this. So this should work. Oh, undefined variable age. Right, so this should not be age at all. This should be our association. This should be this variable. Right, so unlike the for loop, we are not defining the counter first. 
the first variable in the for each is actually the name of the array that we are doing the for each loop through. So we did quite a bit of debugging there. <laughs> Hopefully you see how you can go and read up your errors and go and check your code in order to find where those errors are. Right. So in a for each, we need the actual array variable and then we specify our iterator here. So let us save this again and run it. And voila, finally we get our array key value pairs. All right, so we see here the first key is Mariah, the value is 14, and John, the value is 33, and Agatha, the value is 27. Now to add an element to an associative array, we would simply say use our associative array we would call it and we would define a key so let's define another key um, Liam and let's set this equal to let's set this equal to 41 and let us save this and refresh and we see we get our additional key here key value pair William and his age is 41 so this was an introduction to arrays really and later down in our course we will be looking at how to do some more complex arrays such as multi-dimensional arrays and how we can manipulate the data in those